We are still with Nordic Semiconductor at Electronica 2024 in Munich and just a moment ago we were shown a, a demo from Finn about how an iPhone can speak directly to a device via thread, which is something that historically you couldn't do without an edge router. If you'd like to find out more about that, there's a separate interview for that that will be linked under this video. Um, but once you've got a phone speaking to a thread device, well, what comes next? Well, Matter is a protocol that has had a lot of hype over the years for good reason because it is essentially taking away all of the issues that plagued smart homes for developers and for consumers in the uh, in the beginning. But um, so once we've gone from the phone to the device here, we have a number of matter enabled devices here. What is the matter demo showing here today? Yeah, so previously we've shown like a whole smart home setup, all the different smart home devices. Uh, just to point out, yes, it works with basically every kind of device. Uh, this time we did something a bit more special. So quickly going back to the old demo that we've shown, we've shown like a one to one connection between a threat device and a smartphone. Uh, the main point there being you can get a threat device as your first smart home device. But then the next step from there on out would still be get a, motor, a Meta border router. Here we have the HomePod Mini, but this could be an Amazon Alexa, a Google Nest, Raspberry Pi if you want to. Um, yeah, so what we're showing here is just a simple Meta setup. We have a light bulb, a door lock and another light bulb. They're controlled via any of the smart home systems. But the cool thing about this demo, and for that we'll probably need a close-up later on, um, we actually have this running on our newly released product that we launched two days ago, uh, which is the NI54L15. So we have uh, one NI54L15 here as a light, and we actually have a module here from Panasonic that's uh, doing the same thing, but as you know, for a module like with an integrated antenna and everything. And then we have the 54H20 here as a meta door lock because it's a bit more of a powerful device. So basically just showing a normal smart home operations, but on our very newest hardware. Absolutely, yeah. And, um, and as Finn mentioned, uh, they've done Matter demos in the past where they actually had a lot of smart home devices here. For the purposes of this demo, just to keep things compact, you can imagine every single one of these development boards next to me as a standalone Matter-enabled device. As he said, he referred to one of them as a light bulb, one of them as a door lock. They might not look much like it, but the tech in them is the tech that's going to be showing up in future smart home designs. Um, and obviously the NRF54 is, is bleeding edge and new. You said it was uh, just a, released a couple of days ago. Um, but in terms of people wanting to get started with it, these are all things that are available to actually get samples of now and to actually start developing with. Um, so if people wanted to find out more about how they could start working with Matter on the NRF54 series, where's the best place for them to look? Uh, yeah, so depending on how familiar you are with Nordic, the best place to always start when you want to start developing, go to Nordic Developer Academy because we'll actually teach you in self-led courses exactly from I know nothing to I can develop a complete application, uh, completely free, self-paced, made by engineers for engineers. Uh, if you want development hardware, go to any of your usual distributors. These kits are available on DigiKey, on Mauser, on, on Rootronic, on Fnet, everywhere you can buy kits. You can get the 54L15DK now, today. Super, yep, and, and as always, all of the links that was to everything we've just talked about will be under this video, also in the accompanying blog post. Finn, thank you so much once again for even more of your time today. Thank you.